Hello good dear viewers, in this tutorial we are going to find a solution to this puzzle which I have posted on my Facebook page yesterday. It is a 5 digit pin code puzzle. We have the first statement here that reads, the first digit is a square of the second digit, which means that the first digit depends on the second digit. Then the second statement here reads, the sum of the second and the third digits is equal to 10. The third statement the fourth digit is equal to the second digit plus one. And the fourth statement here reads, the third plus the fifth digits is equal to 14. So if you add the third and the fifth digits together, you're going to obtain 14. And the last statement here reads, the sum of all of these five digits together equals 30. All right, let's get started. Let's assume we have the first digit here, the second digit here, the third digit here, the fourth digit here, and the fifth digit here. Remember, according to the first statement, first digit depends on the second digit. Therefore, we have to know exactly what is the second digit before we could obtain the first digit. And even the second digit is unknown, so we can declare it with a variable. So I would like to declare the second digit with M. So let's assume this is M. If the second digit is M, it stated that the first digit is a square of the second digit. Therefore, if we should square the second digit, we shall obtain the first digit. We are done with the first and the second digits. Then let us go through the other statements. According to the second statement, it reads, the sum of the second and the third digits together equals 10. Okay, let us add the second and third digits together. Second digit plus third digit equals what? Is it 10? Let me confirm. Yes. But we are looking for the third digit so we can make it the subject. Therefore, the third digit is equal to 10 minus the second digit. But what is the second digit? The second digit is M. So we have the third digit to be equal to 10 minus M. Therefore, we can write 10 minus m here. 10 minus m. Let's continue reading. Then from the third statement, it stated that the fourth digit is equal to the second digit plus 1. Therefore, the fourth digit is equal to the second digit plus 1. And what is the second digit? The second digit is m. Therefore, the fourth digit is equal to m plus 1 and therefore we can write m plus 1 here then the fifth digit according to this statement it stated that the third plus the fifth digits together equal to 14. we have the third plus the fifth equals 14. but remember we are looking for the fifth so the fifth would be equal to 14 minus the third. So what is the third? The third digit is what? 10 minus M. We have 14 minus 10 minus M. If you expand this, you have 14 minus 10 plus M. All signs will change if you distribute the negative sign. So 14 minus 10 is equal to 4 plus M, which implies that the fifth digit is equal to 4 plus M. So let's write it here. So we have just obtained all the digits. But the last statement here stated that if we add all of these five digits together, we shall obtain 30. So now I can clear all this rough work. Let me clear it. Okay, so now let us add all of these digits together. We have M squared plus M plus 10 minus m plus m plus 1 and lastly plus 4 plus m if you like you can group them uh, this is a single digit this is a single digit and likewise this one it stated that if we add all of this together we shall obtain 30. now let us collect the like terms you can see that m plus negative m is 0 we have 
m squared plus we have m and another m here making two m's two m and what do we have we have the numbers 10 plus 1 is 11 plus 4 is 15 so we have plus 15 here and this is equal to 30. now let us bring 30 to the left we have m squared plus 2m plus 15 minus 30 as it crosses over and this is equal to 0. Um, 15 minus 30 is negative 15 so we have m squared plus 2m minus 15 equal to 0 which is a quadratic equation in terms of m. We can factorize this let us just think of two numbers we can multiply together to get negative 15 but when we add them together we get positive 2 and the numbers are 5 and negative 3. So we have m plus 5 multiplied by m minus 3 the whole of this equal to 0. By setting each factor to be equal to 0 it implies that either m is equal to negative 5 or m equal to positive 3. But remember all of these digits are positive and hence we are going to consider uh, m equal to 3 and discard this one. So if m is equal to 3, let us go back and substitute. We have seen that m is equal to 3, right? So we have 3 squared here. We have 3 here. We have 10 minus 3. We have uh, 3 plus 1. And lastly, we have 4 plus 3. Let's simplify. We have 9, 3, 7, um, 4, then 7. And hence the pin which we are looking for is 93747 and hence this is the solution to this problem you can go through the statements given to find out whether these pins are correct or not thank you for watching do share to your learning colleagues and don't forget to subscribe to my youtube channel for more exciting videos bye bye